Um, one of the ongoing stories in town, and again, there was a protest outside the um, Ontario Science Centre on Saturday, was moving said Ontario Science Centre down to the uh, lakeshore and waterfront, the new Ontario place, if you will. Mayor Olivia Chow insists she's not giving up on the fight against shifting this entire operation down to the new Ontario place. Chow says following through with the move would be a worst comes to worst scenario. Infrastructure Ontario in March estimated making this move could save 257 million over 50 years as opposed to refurbishing the current building. However, the Auditor General said at the time the decision to relocate was made using incomplete costing and without proper consultation. Uh, demonstrators have raised concerns about job losses, which are legit, and the potential difficulty without, with accessing, pardon me, the future Ontario Science Centre site downtown. I mean, I, I know it seems like it's set in stone, but just this was revisited over the weekend, Meredith and Tammy. I do find this interesting because my, my, my thought process on the story has kind of changed over the last several weeks and months. Where do you stand on this issue? Like, does it annoy you? Do you are you... Are you firmly entrenched in, in the opinion this shouldn't move, or are you softening to it? Well, I mean, as someone who's grown up in Toronto, I've got a lot of memories of the Science Centre. There's some nostalgia factor for me in the location where it's at. Um, and I think job loss is a major factor right now, and I think access is probably an even bigger one, because the kids that need to come to this uh, building need to be able to get there in a way that makes sense for the schools, across the city and beyond. Uh, and I think there are some real benefits to that location in particular for that reason. And I, I agree. And I think that we're thinking about like Toronto students, but mm -hmm. if you go beyond, throughout the GTA in Ontario, students are coming in from everywhere and hitting that location up at Don Mills is a lot easier than heading all the way downtown on Lakeshore if there's construction on the Gardener, if we're if doing uh, if and if. when. <laughs> um, I, yeah. And I know that for Toronto students, it will be a lot easier to get up to that site once the, you know, Edmonton LRT is done whenever that Comes. 2030. Yeah, whatever that yeah. is. And uh, and once the Ontario line is done as well, of course, you'll be able to get back and forth through. I just think that, you know, moving that site, for me at least, living in Pickering in the GTA, it's an easier place to bring my daughter rather than coming all the way downtown. Everything else is already down here. Um, and the Thorncliffe Park neighborhood deserves to have a little something <laughs> that they've had for decades now. And my last thing is, I, I thought, and maybe I was wrong on this, clearly I am, that when the new deal was made with the province and the city of Toronto, that that was kind of let go. Okay, so did I. And yeah. I'm glad you're saying this, yeah. because I'm like, maybe that missed me. But I thought this was a part of that. I thought that was yeah. decided upon. Right. So I, I'm, I'm I, a bit confused at the rediscussion well, of it all. Well, there's a lot of aspects of that deal between the province and the city I don't understand. Like the Ontario Science Centre aspect, I thought it was fait accompli. Mm -hmm. Apparently, we're still having some protests and trying to change that. I thought we had enough money to cover off some issues, including including new Canadians into the city who don't have a place to live. Appar apparently not. Apparently, the war between the city of Toronto and the federal government has just begun here. That that deal with the, with the province wasn't what it was promised to us or how it was portrayed. Because you have all these loose ends still, it seems to me. So I'm as, I'm as confused as you guys and, and the rest of us. I'll, uh, one last thing, and then we'll move on here. Because the, the, the notion, look, uh, getting down to the Lakeshore is tough. If you, if you have a school in Toronto, damn, you're right. Going from that location down to Lakeshore, it's much more difficult. But if, if you're coming in from, like, say, the West End, if you're coming in from another part of Ontario, that, that Ontario place location actually makes a lot of sense location-wise. Like to that, move it. To move it. Yeah. Like you can't, you don't, you don't do Gardner, then the DVP, then off of Don Mills, then navigating that with a bus. Like, I, there's a lot of people who know what that's like. So, just, it's not the complete traffic nightmare that everyone's making it out to be. I think there's another aspect of students in and around the GTA in the province who do take diff different routes into the city where they would, actually wouldn't mind that location down in Ontario Place. But maybe that's just me. And I think, too, for uh, from a tourist perspective, like if you are thinking of getting yes. tourists through it, I mean, that that is the spot. And, you know, we are thinking about uh, profitability and all that stuff. So definitely there's there's access points for sure, but it's like, 
who are we prioritizing with that access? Mm -hmm. And uh, that's an important conversation throughout the GTA and beyond. Yeah, I yeah. think about the zoo, and the zoo is where it is. Yeah, it's it where is, it is nowhere convenient. <laughs> We're not moving those zebras down to Lake Shore. <laughs> right. Worst yeah. location possible. But we get there. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, all right, well, we're, get, we're getting there eventually with the Ontario Science yeah. Center story. Let us know. Feedback at breakfasttelevision.ca what you think about this.